Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure database role-based security using INSP Designer's Security Wizard. For this demonstration, I've created a very simple IronSpeed Designer application, the main page of which is a show table page that lists a bunch of items along with information on those items, including the owner. If we take a look at the live preview, we see that there are three columns in this table, and the third one is the item owner, which refers to data in a user table. Let's take a look at that database. Now, as you can see, the list of stuff that we were looking at has something called item owner. This field, which is an integer, is a foreign key to the users table user ID, which contains the full name which we were looking at in that column. This database also contains a user roles table and the roles table, and we're going to go into that a little bit uh, later, but first we're going to take a quick look at the role-based security wizard and some of its options. Going back to our application, we're going to start the wizard by going into Tools, Application, Security, Wizard. Now one of the first things you might notice is this checkbox underneath that says Development Mode, Temporarily Disable Application Security. This is a checkbox that's going to be very important if you're going to troubleshoot things in Live Preview Mode. If you do use that, a lot, you definitely want to check this box. If you're not going to be using that and you're going to be doing most of your development in design mode, it may not be as necessary. To take this demonstration a little further, we're going to go with database user authentication and tell it that we're going to use a roles table. Briefly going back to our database, I want to show you that our roles table has actually two records in it. Role ID number one is administrator. Role ID number two is a user. We also have two records in the user table, uh, two users, John Doe and George Doe. And user roles is the bridge table that links the two. And that has two records, setting uh, John Doe with a role ID of one, making John the administrator and the user ID for that being one and George Doe being set up as a user. So these have already been set up. Let's see how this works with our security wizard. Back to the application wizard, we'll click next and we're faced with a question, what is the table containing uh, username and password information? Well that's the users table and it's already figured out from the names that the username field is username, that password field is password, and the user ID is that, exactly that. Otherwise we'd have the choice to put it in ourselves. Let's go on and here we have the option of setting up role-based security. Uh, we could have had user security set up without a need to take care of this, but um, Let's go the, the full Monty and set, tell it that the roles are found here and that role ID is role ID, user ID is user ID. It figured it out just fine. So clicking next brings us to this page that allows us to set permissions for different pages. Now Right now, I could click on all of these pages and say that I want only signed-in users to be able to have access to all those pages. But I could say I only want people of a certain role, let's say administrator, to be able to add or edit. Let's just say next and finish. Now let's try to run our new application. All right, and it's bringing up our window. And now, as you can see, we are forced to sign in. So I'm going to sign in as John Doe. And my password, very simple. And clicking OK means we see everything. Uh, I can add. Let's try adding. 
Oh, I get to go to an add page. I can add an item. I can add an owner to that item. Um, or I can uh, edit a record. Uh, no problem. Let's try signing out and going back to our sign-in screen and this time let's try logging in as George Doe. Here we are. A couple of things are different. If I try adding, I'm not allowed to. Same thing with editing because my role is user and not administrator. This is just the first step of what could be accomplished using Ironspeed Designer's role-based security. I'd encourage you to look at more videos including filtering data by logged in user and component level security. Thanks for watching.